How's it going everybody? Daniel here with a little bit of Radcos Midrange. Uh, this is my new standard deck in both in paper and on here. And I've been loving the hell out of this deck. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, this deck isn't quite where I want to be on here. I need four Rekindling Phoenix and only have two. But otherwise, it's decently close to where I'd like it to be. Uh, deck's been great. It's been fun to play. I'm going to play a few best of one games just to kind of show it off right here. See how it goes. And then tomorrow I'm planning to hopefully do some traditional rank either... either a, you know, constructed event or just play some just rank regular and see how it goes. But I figure for now, just throw some best in one up here. Show the deck off a wee bit and see how it goes. Starting hand a little slow. Turn one carnival in case of something aggro is good. Uh, we'll keep. We're probably playing against some soul tire. Wow, Walker can't do nothing about that. Okay. We actually can do something about that. It's always nice to get that under control before he starts getting getting big on us. Okay. Y'all siege gang commander. I think from here we probably just want to midnight reaper. Attempt. Goodbye value. Alright, so far we I think we just do this and Dragon Soul's coming to hold up Carnival. Uh, next turn, we got CJ Commanders coming down. Should hopefully do a decent job for us. Yep. He's got all the answers for us right now. Another blood group. Now they're down to three cards in hand. We may just want to. That's pretty good. So let's actually just carnage them here, and then uh. Actually, no, no, that's stupid. Let's not be stupid. Just to be stupid. That's so why we got some blockers down too for that Jade Light Ranger. Next turn we can try to carnage them if they try to play another threat here. Chupacabra! Not the worst thing. If they want to attack into this, I'll happily trade off two goblins. Um, let's go ahead. So from here we can carnage and kill something if we need to. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and Carnage get that shit out of their hand. Crisis and Vivian, I'd say that wasn't a bad trade off. And we'll hold back for now. And they're living off the top. We're happy with that block just because we can throw the CGN commander down next turn and get some more blocks. So now he's got to worry about finality. Okay. A little bit of an early concession by the opponent, but I think with them having to live off the top, we had some good hand cards in hand. We could have made that comeback. Been doing decently well against, against uh, Soul Tie. The biggest thing against them has been Angrath. Um, it's been feeling really, really good to see them drop a big juicy Hydroid Crisis and we steal it. So this game we will go first, and that's a pretty sweet hand. We'll keep Turn 2, uh, Freebooter free into turn 3, Swan of Mayhem is nasty if you get to make that resolve. Though it's looking like it won't be resolving against the stick. Let's go ahead. I want to make them use this. Use a bit uh burn on this. I'm not gonna allow him to enable spectacle here. If I can help it. Noise. They just trying to be pulling a fast one on us there. So I think here we swing in. 
get spectacle going and get a big old spot of mayhem out. Doubt he's attacking into that. Hopefully he's play a gutter snipe here. If they play a gutter snipe here, we'll be feeling real nice. Hey guys, feeling real nice. So with this, I think we just want to Chupacabra, take out their gutter snipe. Get to swinging. And I think we still, we just attack him with Spawn of Mayhem, leave this free booter back as a blocker so they don't get their easy spectacle trigger with Light of the Stage. I want to make them earn that. And the way they're looking at my free booter, they probably got... Okay. Still ain't too bad a turn for us. Good game. Always feel good. Feels good to whip up a mono red a little bit. Cool. Let's, uh, let's, let's do one more. Like I said, this is going to be a short one. I just kind of want to show the deck off and play around with a little bit. And tomorrow, hopefully get some more decent games in with the deck. <laughs> Bull sacky. I see what you did there, friend. Uh, yeah, this hand looks good. So we'll start off anytime you get a, a, a hand like this. Since we do play Chain Wheeler, you always want to lead off on your red. Um, just in case. A lot of times it doesn't come down to that. Uh, so for here, let's play free booters, see what they're doing. Well, I guess that's a pretty easy decision there. So they're going to eventually your Pyromancer, as I would assume. Hmm. Since they probably only have that one card, I don't think I'm going to worry about about that with her. And I'm not going to be blocking that power man. So let's go ahead and get some attacks in for now. And we'll we'll pass turn holding the cast down. We're probably going to cast down his chain whirler. Uh, sure thing, chicken wing. I don't want them to uh, be able to get a spectacle on this. So I'm just going to shoot it down. Chain Roller is not like super worryful against us. And from here... I think we just... We just freebooter. Take that skewer. Just keep them off of it. Be annoying. And then we'll play... Rixamati Reveler. We'll get rid of this one. We're hoping they play a land into a phoenix here. So we can lob a cola. Sick. So let's waste no time on that. Let's get some swings in. And that was probably a little aggressive. I maybe should have not played that second, that reveler there. Um, Cause spectacle would have been nice here. For the next turn, but it is what it is. See if they're going to finish off her freebooter. Let's see what they do with that now. Oh, that ain't a bad way to do it. Uh, well, that's annoying. I guess we just go ahead and chain with it here for now. I feel like I kind of punted this game away a little bit by playing that, that Reveler. I should have held on to that. The extra draw against them and being able to power it up like that's been nice. So the chain whirler feels real bad. We'll see if they wanna. You got it, pal. And we can't block here because. Midnight Reaper is kind of a feel bad card just because. Hmm. Let's hold back and throw this railer into block. So we don't want to be taking damage, but we also need cards. They pay three for that, which is good at least. Lava Cool is not a terrible draw. And we gotta take that block because we can't afford to go to like three. Or 
are still probably pretty dead. Uh, they really should have skewered us there. Luckily for the opponent, I think they're just too far ahead where it doesn't matter here, even if they are playing bad. So they should just skewer us here and take us to one. But they're not good at magic. Uh, there's no way around it. Like, we're just dead here either way. So we'll give them the good game. And concede. Rough, rough, rough. I don't want to go out on that note. Let's go ahead and do one more. Even if I lose, we'll, we'll still call it there no matter what. And the way they drew there, I think maybe it didn't matter. I think they just kind of had our number there. We have a pretty bad game one against Mono Red. I think we have plenty of removal, but the ways we have to hurt ourselves kind of make it rough. Uh, his hand's a little slow, but it's versatile. I think we'll rock this. Love this on the play. Going against control, looks like. Or Soul Time. So we'll definitely be Lava Coil in turn one. The tried and true. I'd love for him to like throw down a land of war over something too here. But they don't. Uh, so from here, since our Chain Whirler doesn't do as much, I wish I should have played that Blood Crypt actually. Let's play a free beat, free booter. Let's see what they're working with. Guess we'll take this, this cast down. They don't have the mana right now. Okay, I say that now they do. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've seen Carnage Iron around these parts. He's he's not really been played too much lately. These. Two power creatures are making us feel pretty rough. Um, so I think from here, we just send old Trooper out. Get some, get some beasts in the air. If they want to trade uh, Branch Walker for Chupacabra, I'm fine with that. Hoping they take Chain Whirler here. They'll probably take Reveler. Who knows? This is why we're always pretty good because Chain Whirler is not well, not that great, so I can just swing in and spectacle that boy. Let's see if he attacks. No attack. That's a, that's a good top deck. So we will. Yeah, let's just get on in there. That's a trade I was fine with anyway, so we're cool with that. Now, if they drew the land for this car tyrant, though, we're gonna be in some some trouble. Let's just hope they, you know, we can only hope for them to brick for so long, but yeah. Carney T, he's a good one. So that, that ain't a bad draw. I think we're okay just throwing these guys away, really. Maybe not there. Let's get some spectacle going. Love to use that devil there, but I can't. So we'll let this resolve. The thought erasure is kind of nice. Cool. I'd love for him to swing in. He ain't going to because he's scared. What's the best play here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Uh, I think we just want to get. Let's get this last card out of their hand. 
Never see no fire, no steel. Let's just swing for now. We're just trying to get damage through at this point. Next turn, if he wants to swing and kill our Angrath, that's fine because we just swing for lethal. Uh, that's a fantastic draw. Man. Beasts are much more reliable than you can't stop nature. But even if they, he still can't afford to be attacking us right now. Maybe now he can. They're keeping that on top. Okay. They were dead there either way. Cool. 2 0 against Sultai feels really good since that's the most played deck there is right now. And 3 1 overall, not too bad. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'll be doing a little bit more of this tomorrow with some best of three, since that's the real magic format anyway. But yeah, Rakko's mid range, been pretty sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Love you.